Hi. Hey, uh, hi. I wanted to make a short video uh, about the uh, the bell handles that I make for the Sportsman grills. If um, you're looking to replace one, a missing bell handle, uh, I want to show you the ones that I make. And some of the, um, the ones that um, are the older ones and the newer ones. Anyway, if you have a, uh, a Sportsman grill and it needs a bell handle, uh, this is one of the older four-legged uh, sportsmen's, uh, the ones with the writing on the bottom. Um, and this one here is it's the next generation, which is also a four-legger, but it has a sliding draft door and no writing on the bottom. Um, and also this one here, they changed to a three-leg design, two in the front, one in the back and also has a sliding draft door. The bail handles that I make are correct for all three of these model grills. Uh, they all have this lug attachment here. And as long as your grill has a, the lug attachment like this, the bail handle that I make will work just fine and be correct for that grill. Now, after uh, Birmingham Stoven Range went out of business and Lodge took over making them, um, making the grills. They came out with the uh, Mallard Duck Grill. And when they did that, they they changed a couple of things, only two things. These grills are identical except for the door and the bell handle. Uh, they came out with the Mallard Duck door and they changed the design of the bell handle to a much lighter material and it's just this kind of instead of a nice round loop it's this teardrop looking loop on here um, after they, they uh, Lodge went and redesigned the grill again and they changed that now, now it has a logo and uh, just Lodge on the door um, and they use the same bail handle now the bail handle that I manufacture will it will work because it has the lug attachment. It just won't be right for this for these grills. It'll work just they'll work just fine. Uh, Lodge doesn't they don't sell these kind of bail handles anymore. Here's what they do sell. Uh, this is a even yeah yeah I know they're very dirty but <laughs> this is a brand new. Lodge that you can buy from Walmart or Amazon and it's a three leg design and they changed the attachment uh, so it's like a uh, it's like a Dutch oven now they changed the profile I think it says it's the same diameter material but they changed the profile of the bail handle to this flat type instead of the round type um, and also the, the, there's a, a couple different angles right here now, it is possible to use this bail handle on these lugs, but you have to modify this tremendously. You have to take a pair of pliers and, and bend it all up. Um, so, anyway, this is, uh, this is the bail handle that I manufacture. It's a, to the best of my ability, it's a faithful reproduction of the original bail that came with your um, uh, four-leg grill or three-leg grill and um, uh, you can uh, if you need to contact me my email is joebiker at aol.com or um, I also run a Facebook group called uh, Cast Iron Grill and Hibachi World on Facebook I can always be reached through there Thank you very much. Bye. Hey, hey, something else I wanted to touch on about the, the bail handles. Um, if you do end up ordering, uh, getting a, a replacement bail handle for your grill, um, one of the things to be careful about is after you put the handle on, um, the spacing right here. The way I manufacture them is I put, I bend them so that you just bend them in a little bit so that there's a little bit of tension between the fire bowl and the inside of the bail handle. This way, 
it's, uh, there's no way that it can slide off. Um, when you go to lift up your grill, these things were designed, uh, sometimes they're a little front heavy, and when you go to lift them up, they may tilt forward slightly, and what happens is the door may flop open. Very often, we'll see these doors with these tabs, you know, these tabs really aren't that strong, with these tabs busted off. And that happens because the door flops open and either it breaks the tabs off, right, that, just like that, or it'll, these things will flop open, it'll fall on the ground and bust off these little tabs. So what I recommend, and actually what the manufacturer recommended right from the get-go, was to take off the door, either set it aside or put it inside. The, uh, the next generation of this has the sliding draft door. Those also get lost because they fall off. What I do is I take that off and I put it inside with this for, trans for transporting the grip. This way they lift up nice and straight and there's no chance of them uh, flopping forward and busting anything. So. Hey, hope you enjoy your bail handle, your new bail handle. Thank you very much.